If you follow today's tutorial, you'll learn how to design this flat illustration using Adobe Illustrator in just a few steps. Hi everybody, my name is Cosmin and I'll walk you through the entire process. If you want to see how I sketched the idea for this illustration, stick till the end. But for now, we're going to jump right in into Illustrator and start with the inspiration. I came today from three different dribble shots. Uh, the first one is by V. Dilly, and I really like the way the Illustrator stylized the shoes. This illustration that was done for Google is done by Remember the Name. I really like the fact that it's using a stroke outline to separate different shapes and I plan on doing the same thing and then the theme of today is getting a cup of coffee so I really like this illustration done by Kemal where he has a really simple color scheme super contrasting and I'm going to try to kind of emulate this style with my illustration as well so right now I have the sketch in a lock layer and the illustration below for the color scheme I'll try to keep it super simple use maybe this shade of yellow just because I feel like it goes super well with the black I'll probably use a couple of shapes that have white in it as well so let's start with the background just because i want to have some kind of separation between every single element let's sample with the eyedropper to this yellow double click to get inside it and i'm going to make it a bit more saturated make sure you have the illustration layer selected and then we can actually draw this first shape once you did that the next step is to actually start with the character so let's zoom in because i want to start from the head and move downward because i don't want to hit this layer accidentally i'm actually going to go into the layers panel and lock the background so right now i can't really select it which means that i can draw on top of it and move things around without having to worry about if that shape is going to move as well i'll start with the face uh, double click on the color to actually select a white color use the sketch as reference and try to draw the face for the neck it's going to be a bit harder just because you have these weird curves but i'm going to start like this and then place a point on the other side as well as you can see i'm holding down the shift key to actually have a straight path let's close this off because the ear is going to be a separate element because I want to have the ability to actually move it around. Let's create an ear. In the sketch I actually wanted to have kind of like a wool hat for the character just because in Romania it's getting colder and colder by the day and I wanted to signal that change in temperature. Now with it selected double click and let's select a black color and now with the ear selected you can actually hit command or control right bracket and bring it to the front so it kind of covers it. The top part is going to be white and try to keep it pretty dynamic i don't want to have too many straight paths over here let's even make it bigger because i want this to stand out not as big as this and now we can move to the body going to use the black color to actually create these shapes each one will be uh, an individual shape with the black colors once you use them you can't really see the details of the illustration anymore but that's fine because for these elements there's not a lot of details to work with anyways try to follow along with this way if you have any issues creating curves that you like try your best and afterwards from the panel over here you can actually find the smooth tool and with the smooth tool if you double click you have the option to smooth things out that will help with making a better transition between these curves same thing for the other hand as well try to follow along these are simple shapes the hands are going to be wide as well as you can see this is uh, kind of abstract in terms of how a hand actually looks like that's the beautiful part about illustrations that you can pretty much play around with different ways to visualize things let's work on the pants right now i'll try to keep it simple uh, black and white for, for now i'm not sure about this bump maybe i'm going to simplify everything just because i don't want to have too many variations in the shapes i'm creating follow along and for the shoes i'm actually going to have empty shapes so i'm just going to use outlines and and that's going to give us a pretty interesting look similar to what we have in this illustration so i'm going to select this one now i have a black fill once you start tracing you can't really see it so that's why i'm going to hit this small icon over here and it's going to swap the fill and the stroke let's complete this shape and we need to increase the stroke size seven points should be pretty good and from the stroke panel make sure to have around the cap and corner let's send this behind and now work on the shoe sole i saw this shoe design kind of like this but I don't have the illustration that I was using as inspiration. If I'm going to find it, I'm going to put it in the description below just because that will help you get a better understanding of how I gather inspiration. Most of the time it's just me seeing something and then making a mental note about it. Whenever I can, I will take screenshots of illustrations that grab my attention. Honestly, that's only sometime. Most of the time I just browse through a lot of Dribble and Behance and then if I see something, I kind of remember it. And that's the fun part 
about these videos because I get to exercise and try different styles and in the meanwhile maybe this is helpful for you to actually start making an illustration of your own. I feel like the hardest part is actually the sketching of the illustration. That's why if you want to follow along you can download the sketch from the description below. Let's create these small details around the soul. In previous versions of Illustrator, you always had snap to pixel by default for some reason, but I saw that in Illustrator 2021, that option is not there by default. Maybe it was something that you could change, but it was always super annoying for me when I started an illustration, uh, having to go and disable it every single time. Now it's disabled by default. So I think this new update is, <laughs> is amazing, even though I don't think that's the case, but it, that's what I got out of it. Let's try to create the hair because that's a huge part of this illustration so i'm thinking about having it go from over here let's simplify this a bit because i feel like there's way too many waves as you can see this is really irregular over here for example you have these pads they just don't look good so what i'm going to do is actually use the curvature tool let's use this one start from over here place a point like so and try not to intersect with the other path let's select the old one delete it this one i need to have it behind the pants let's send this behind everything and see how it looks actually let's try and sample this color and have it black and now i can play with these ones yeah i need to make them yellow uh, the same color as the background so let me try and sample that color disable it let's save it to the swatches panel over here and i'll go back and actually turn it off and from the swatches panel now i can add these elements and be yellow and then you have some negative space to play with that's why i'm going to probably use uh, these shapes stroke outline to actually differentiate some of the elements that make up the character so let's start with the head these are the first elements where i imagine having this, this stroked outline even though this is a bit big uh, for what i wanted it to be it's still an interesting look let's create some differentiation between the arms over here start like that same thing on the other side as well now the interesting part is that with these elements whatever you have white and orange like this so on top of each other it's pretty nice to actually have a stroked outline to make some kind of differentiation between them let's create a small fanny pack as well <laughs> this would be kind of the bell and then uh, you would have it like this that's it this on top i'm not sure about something in the middle kind of like a zipper let's do something for the pockets again i'm only using the pen tool over here just because these are very simple shapes i'm using v to deselect and then p to go back to the pen tool uh, the stroke size is way too big with the magic tool i'm actually going to select one and that's going to select every single one and now i can make them a bit smaller five should be fine let's use this stroke for the hands as well maybe right here when you kind of have things blending in follow along as as close as possible with this path and that way you can have some kind of separation maybe even for the pants let's disable the sketch just for a second to see what we got yeah so once i disabled i noticed that this leg doesn't look right so maybe uh, simplify it by removing with the pen tool it once and then you can remove pads we need some differentiation for the face as well so i'm going to use this stroke outline create some kind of separation over here using the smooth tool i'm going to go over it a couple of times <laughs> this is kind of like my uh, go-to tool whenever i see something i don't like i'm just going to smooth it out that's that's my answer to anything <laughs> okay so for this uh, leg i can see that the sole uh, this one is too big i'm going to take the direct selection tool and actually adjust some of these pads of these points below so they're not visible anymore and now we have a flat character that's pointing towards something so we do need the supporting element which is actually a cup of coffee I'm going to use this pad to actually define the bottom part if you don't want to have straight corners you can switch to the direct selection tool hold down shift to select multiple ones and you can actually round them up and again with uh, illustrate 2021 i feel like this animation is so much better than what it used to be it's so much easier to work with the uh, direct selection tool and round things up let's see for the top part as well create a shape maybe have it overlap in the illustration sketch you can actually see the rounded corners i'm going to select these ones with the direct selection tool and smooth them out and i'm not really sure about how i'm going to create this part i am going to take the pen tool 
and try my best to create all of these waves by hand and that will give you a more irregular look which i feel like is a bit more unique than trying to do maybe with a zigzag tool if you're going to make it by hand it's pretty much impossible to get <laughs> like a really consistent look which is part of the challenge right here this will probably be a fill so let's switch things out need to select it first switch things out and maybe this one as well with iDrop at all, I'm going to sample that. Disable the sketch. Let's move this up a bit, just because it was down here. It would be nice to have some elements that are white. Let's uh, maybe sample this element, just to help with the color balance. These are really straight, so I'm going to switch with the direct selection tool and actually round them up. In the sketch, you can actually see these elements. I was thinking about maybe having a shadow below it. So I'm going to try just that. I'll sample the black field and maybe using the curvature tool, I can create something interesting. Select it again. And <laughs> with the curvature tool, whenever I click on a path, it always starts uh, using that. So it's kind of weird. Okay, let me try and create something for the character. So I need to make adjustments to have different type of shadow. Let's add some points. I'll add one here zoom in because this is like being in a surgery you need to be very careful with this path did i just compare myself with a surgeon yes that's true okay so we have this shadow it kind of looks like a hoverboard right now if i'm going to place some uh, circles that are white then it's definitely going to look like a hoverboard <laughs> okay but it's a shadow let's let's remove it this character is not cool enough to ride the hoverboard in this illustration this designer actually uses an ellipse so let's try to have something for the coffee sample the black this looks pretty interesting but this is too too clean of a shape to work with the whole composition so i need to delete it and actually create something by hand and this way the illustration looks like the copy is actually hovering on top of the ground. This is the final look of the illustration. Now I'll start sharing steps from when I started sketching this illustration. For me, the fun part for these uh, illustrations is always trying to find out ways to actually use a minimum of colors to create an idea or to illustrate an action. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe for more. See you next week with another video. Take care, everybody. Bye.